Hello, I'm Paul Check, and I'd like to welcome you to my upcoming scientific shoulder training workshop. I thought I'd take just a moment to share with you now what you will learn in this exciting learning opportunity. The course objectives of scientific shoulder training are understand the function of the shoulder as dictated by the selective pressures of nature. What that means is the selective pressures of nature are the forces that develop the human body. I explain why our shoulder functions the way it does, and once you know what its function is, it gives you a lot of ideas as to how and why it should be rehabilitated a specific way. We look at how to prevent unnecessary shoulder injuries as often created during resistance training, simply because people often don't understand the anatomy. So I show you how the anatomy works, and then I show you how to modify several common exercises in the gym so that you can improve shoulder function and not degrade it. We apply my success formula for conditioning the shoulder complex. I show you how important it is to reestablish length tension relationships for optimal flexibility, then stability, then strength, and only then do we operate in the zone of power. Otherwise, we particularly run the risk of ruining the shoulder. I share the basic anatomy with you. We look at osseous, ligamentous, muscular, and neurological anatomy as it pertains to shoulder conditioning and rehabilitation. I get into infant development and I show you how the anatomy of the shoulder and the whole body is really, really linked to infant development. And if we don't understand basic infant development, it's often impossible to rehabilitate the shoulder because a faulty infant development leads to faulty neuromechanics and biomechanics and kinesiology in the body. So I show you how infant development influences the shoulder and ways we can use infant development exercises to rehabilitate the shoulder. This is particularly useful for chronic shoulder problems. I show you how the body is composed of an upper body and a lower body. The arms act like the upper body's engine, the legs act like the lower body's engine, yet it is the core or the torso that integrates the two. And if we have faulty infant development, we have classic muscle imbalances like you see in the bodybuilder presented here on the screen. So using an awareness of how the body actually grows and develops, we can actually easily correct many of these chronic deficiencies in people that seem to bounce endlessly from therapist to therapist and doctor to doctor. I talk about the biomechanics, the kinesiology, and the neuromechanics of the shoulder so I can share with you research and how motor sequencing must take place in order to have normal shoulder function. And I use this science to address some of the ideas being used in the industry that are potentially dangerous for anyone wanting to have a healthy shoulder. We apply the technologies that I've discussed so far in the gym or rehab environment, and I show you how to use neurophysiology to create an effective shoulder rehabilitation program. I look at such activities as rhythmic stabilization. I show you ways I've developed for improving stability in the shoulder and the entire body at large. I look at many of the commonly used exercises in the gym and show you how to modify them for improved performance. And you can register now. Just follow the link on our website, checkinstitute.com, and reserve your space. Because if past history is any indicator, this seminar may well sell out. And I don't want to miss an opportunity to share with you. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm Paul Check. I look forward to seeing you at the Institute and at Scientific Shoulder Training. Bye-bye.